it's always one thing or another. Hang on and I'll let you know what I'm talking about. Okay, you know how the story goes. One step forward, two steps back, and I think whoever originally said that probably tried to build an airplane, because <laughs> it just seems to be the way it is. So after going through the plans a little bit more and looking at the work that had been done on the plane prior to me buying it, I found a few more things that need to be corrected uh, before I can get going forward. Um, the biggest problem is I need to rebuild both the stabilators that were already completed because the main stabilator, spar, support, whatever you want to call it, um, they were bent uh, a few degrees more than they should have been. And if it was a little less, I could probably flex it back or just pull it into position uh, during the final assembly. But I sent pictures off to Kerry at Sonics and he told me it's definitely bent too far and I should not try and bend it back. So I'm going to need to order two more of what they, what they call uh, hockey sticks. It's uh, I'll show you in a minute, but uh, hockey stick shaped uh, spar supports for the stabilators and that means complete disassembly hundreds of rivets that need to be drilled out uh, hopefully I don't damage any skins um, or the uh, the main uh, rib or spar support uh, in the front of the stabilators and if I can do that properly, then I get to drill it all to match and reassemble from scratch after I try and bend those pieces myself and hopefully I can get it right. Because um, I talked to the previous builder and he said he, uh, he used a protractor to measure it and everything, so it may be harder than it looks. So. No, uh, no blame being laid here, but um, there's one other problem, well, a couple other problems, but uh, also in some of the uh, pulley systems for the, the uh, control cables, um, there's one I want to redo because uh, the pulley is drilled at a little angle and it rubs on one side of the support. Not a huge deal, but over time could wear and cause a problem so I want to redo that um, and then there's a couple spots I'll show you uh, in the uh, very bottom uh, cross structure ribs however you want to call it I can't remember the proper name right now um, but each one of these boxing sections in the tail cone it, it's it's a, an upper two sides and a bottom and a couple of the bottom ones need to just be drilled for clearance for the cables that should have been done before the pulleys were installed but the pulleys have been installed so I need to drill out all those rivets, remove those pulleys, uh, drill the cable access holes and then remount all those pulleys so uh, by the time I'm done with this I'm probably going to end up redoing the majority of the work that was done prior to me getting the kit and where that seems like a bit of a hassle, uh, kind of happy about it because this way here, I should know every aspect of this thing, how it was constructed, and it makes it a little easier for me to put my butt up in the air in this thing when there's, if anything's wrong, I'm the guy that did it and that just should make everybody feel a whole lot better too. Uh, I'm sure if the, something happened uh, due to somebody else's work 
obviously there'll be a lot of guilt involved and nobody wants anything like that so where I was happy to be getting a plane where some of the work was done I'm even more happy now to be going backwards and doing it all myself even though it's going to take more time energy and money I think it's just best for all so uh, that's my perspective on that and uh, let me show you the exact problems I'm looking at. So this is the rear stabilator structure for the uh, the Y-tail uh, YXB. And um, you can kind of recognize that Y-shaped bracket that uh, supports the rear of the stabilator. And as you come down towards the front of the stabilators, you can see these don't line up. And it doesn't look extreme, but when we put a straight edge across the bottom, you can really see how far out of whack it is. This side here is probably, oh, a good three-eighths of an inch. This side here might be a quarter to five-sixteenths. Um, and that's just, if I had to continue bending, bending it in the same direction, it would probably be okay to disassemble it and increase the bend but to bend it in the reverse direction is way too high of a chance of creating uh, stress fractures in the metal on a pretty important part of the plane so that's the issue with that and uh, not looking forward to disassembling these things 100% putting them back together but it needs to be done so that's what we'll do Okay, I'm up inside the airplane now. I had to do a little crawling to get under here. It probably sounds horrible because I'm in an echo chamber of some kind. So let me uh, show you what I was looking at here with some of the pulleys. All right. Okay. Don't know if it's focusing well, but um, this pulley here is let's see if I can align you can kind of see how it's in there crooked so it rubs on opposing corners so I'd like to square that up just to uh, remove any additional wear uh, the other side actually looks perfect oh my goodness it's tight in here so Okay, this one, sorry about the poor lighting, but this one spins completely freely, so that one's just fine. And let me swing around and show you the last issue I found, well, I should say the most current issue I found. Oh man, let's get that light out of the way. Okay. Okay. Now these two pulleys here, a little balancing act. Okay, so these two pulleys here continue the cables to the rear of the aircraft, and the cable goes between the pulley and then these little bars that keep the pulley or the cables from popping off the pulleys and oh excuse me I need an extra hand here um, but anyways you can see that cable needs to go through that support and there is no hole and the same on the other side and then the uh, next support behind that will also need some relief holes. That one's easy to do. Uh, this one here, I need to remove all those rivets and drill the holes, deeper the holes, and then rivet it all back in place. Not too much work as long as I don't damage anything in the removal. So. Not sure if that's what I'm going to work on today, but uh, seems like the easier of the two tasks for sure, so I might start there. Well, it's not quite ready for flight. And to be honest, it's not quite ready 
to be sitting in and making airplane noises, but every once in a while you just got to make that inner kid happy, so... <laughs> Anyways, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button to make YouTube happy, and share these with your friends. Thanks for watching.